This problem is talking about lead 2 iodide. So I've got lead 2 iodide. It dissociates equilibrium Li. Once again, I don't know if that's a word. Into lead cation 2 plus and two molar equivalents of iodide I minus. It then gives me uh, the solubility product KSP as being equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative eighth. It's asking me what is the concentration of iodide, this stuff right here, at equilibrium. To do this, I'm going to have to set up an ice table. This, this of course, follows from analogous examples I've already given in separate videos. So what I do right at the beginning is I assume that right at the very, very beginning when I throw lead iodide into water, it's 100% solid. And these amounts are zero. Now gradually that's going to go back and forth and back and forth until it hits equilibrium. And it's going to change by some amount. That amount, right, uh, that by which this decreases is going to be negative x. And then molar equivalents, because this is 1 to 1 to 2, it's going to increase the concentration of lead plus by plus x and the amount of uh, iodide by plus 2x. The final equilibrium concentration amounts then are going to be made by just adding row 1 and row 2. So I've got 1 minus x is my equilibrium amount, 0 plus x, and 0 plus 2x. These are my individual equilibrium concentrations for each of these species. The KSP equilibrium constant is, uh, is equal to the concentration of lead 2 plus multiplied by the concentration of I minus squared because there's a 2 in front of this iodine. I have to take these values and throw them in the, to their uh, corresponding locations here. 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8 is going to be equal to the equilibrium concentration of lead 2 plus, which is x, multiplied by the equilibrium uh, concentration of iodide, which is 2x squared. You do the math here, you end up getting uh, 2x squared times x, which is, uh, sorry, 4x cubed, I think, being equal to that. Now, if you solve for x, you end up getting uh, 1.52 times 10 to the negative third. Now, this is not the answer to the question because the question is asking what's the final equilibrium concentration of iodide minus. So, what you do is you take this value x and put it in here, multiply it by 2, and that will give us the final iodide concentration in this equilibrium setting.